哈林多位誒咁啊，早排咧就同呢個美國 Bacardi Design 咧嘅老闆嗱，松 Brian 松娜咧就同佢做咗簡短訪問。點解咧？因為佢啱啱誒要去廣州音響展途經香港，咁啊捉住佢同佢傾兩句啦。有啲咩新嘢咧？其實誒呢個 Bacardi Design 最主要嘅新產品咧就係呢個 Pentium 系列，有兩個新產品。第一個新產品咧就係 M 十二嘅 Pentium 系列，咁第二個新產品咧就係 M 二十一嘅解碼，咁好簡單嘅啫，就係同我之前吉試過嘅 M 十一一樣，就係一個。擁有呢個 analog input r c a 同埋 balance 各一組，係用 R 2 R 嘅放大嚟到去做一個好靚嘅前級嚟嘅。雖然個 input 唔夠多，但係個質素非常之高。同一時間，因為佢係用 R 2 R 排電咗，作方式做放大，所以咧喺個解碼部分咧，佢又多咗個 option， 就喺 DSD 嗰陣時候可以用呢個叫做 native DSD 嘅放大，嗰、那個 DSD 嘅效果咧非常之好啊！咁 p a n t i n 版本當然就係除咗個樣唔同咗之外呢其實佢喺供電啊入面線路上做咗微調，令到嘅聲音取向有多少唔同嘅。咁佢冇講到嗰個有咩唔同，不過呢，就係、是、等大家自己聽聽，如果佢講個分別喺邊度。出咗一個新嘅產品叫 M 2 1係一個純解碼嚟嘅。呢、這個解碼呢，係有齊咁多款俾你玩，即係包括咩呢？就係、是、例如佢嘅 Sigma Delta 嘅 PCM 解碼啦。咁同一時間都係有呢個 R 二 R Native 嘅 DSD 解碼啦，等等。咁所以咧呢個解碼呢，係可以俾你。一計多係任你用唔同嘅方法嚟到去、呃、做解碼，好快咁樣同大家講講呢兩部機嘅特色啦。咁我哋而家就邀請 Brian 你同大家詳細少少去講解呢兩部機嘅設計方向。Design and you know typically when whenever we do something、uh, like say the M12, which is here the Platinum series, we also find some enhancement we can do internally, you know, make some difference in the product, make some improvement to make differentiate it a bit other than just the style. Okay. Well, the M12 started as an idea from myself using my M1. And I always ran my M1 direct to our amplifiers very successfully with the digital attenuator. And the M1 had a really good output buffer design, discrete output stage like a preamplifier. So no problem to drive anything. Then I thought, well, it'd be nice to have analog inputs. Some customers might like that because they might have turntable, tape deck, something. It'd be nice to maybe put this together. So the M12 became born out of that idea. And of course, we then decided, well, let's put a nice.、Uh, Discrete volume control, a resistor ladder, digitally controlled volume control. Because we made, we're making this extra analog volume level control section. We were able to do, create one of the only pure, true analog DSD converters because that happens all in analog on the M12. So some customers say, "Well, I got my favorite preamp. I don't, I don't want your preamp. <laughs> okay, I like my whatever." Or You know, I don't need that. I just want to run straight like I do home. I don't, I don't need any analog inputs. I just I'm a digital guy. I just want to run straight out, but I want the DSD. So I said, okay, let's take out the analog inputs. So the say so the M21 is DAC pre, <laughs> okay, <laughs> accent the other way. That's the, the the switch in the numbers, right? So it has an analog stage in it also, but it's not the discrete ladder. Because its main purpose in the design was to be to manage the DSD. We can fit all this in, it, but the basis of it is still an M1. But now that you have a bigger chassis, better power supply. So the power supplies that were de developed for the M12 are in the M21. So you have you know, better power supplies、uh, and more possibilities. Yeah, this these are our development out of our M28s.、Uh, Primarily changing the、um, form factor. In fact, what I did is it's the same similar form factor as our M15 stereo amp, but in in, in mono blocks. One, it's it's more friendly style、uh, form that can fit into a rack or sit on the floor like this. Whereas the M28 is sort of well, it's got to sit on the floor, and that might not be good for the wife. Say, oh, you can't have that stuff sitting there. Get it out of the way. Okay, so that's the main. Intention of this amplifier is to try to give a different presentation for different application, different needs. The other reason to make the 21 is actually it's 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 only half of its it has partner product. 
uh, that's coming out this year, later this year, and that's called the M20, which is the matching standalone preamplifier. So you have one control center that runs both products, and they, you know, they, and they match as a set. So the whole idea of the Platinum Series mm -hmm. and is, is also a set.